Okay, so this is uh, a Hindu term that's uh, predominant in the Upanishads, and it, and it means it means an impression on the soul caused by uh, a negative egoic fear-based experience associated with a belief. So the, now, this teacher that I work with uh, calls it an energetic signature. Same thing. Uh, I used to call it uh, an attraction field with belief. Sounds like a menu. <laughs> and uh, so the sanskaras are the impressions that we've made upon our souls by looking at events that are real bad and fearful. They could be anything, but they, they are not based on love because love moves naturally, has no impression except in the relationship experiences of the soul. So coming out of Let's, let's just call this the Godhead, just for fun, okay? Yay for Godheads. Any other Godheads here? No. So, at, there's the point, this is common experience under hypnotherapy. Maybe you've taken some of your clients back to this place. Uh, if you haven't, uh, take yourself back first. See what it's like, see what, what happens to you and what you create when you come out. So there's, it's reported in different ways, but in the beginning, there's very, hardly any self-identity when in the place of the Godhead. It's all union. You could say this is before the Garden of Eden, metaphorically. So, when the, the soul is sent out, that's emergence out, and then it goes, whoa, oh, fuck. <laughs> you know? And it's either scared or pissed off or taking it personal. But the divine that has sent it out on its mission is not treating it with any kind of negativity or, uh, you know, personally sending it away without any support or love or anything like that. That, as you know, the self is still inside. And when self says, I never left you, it's not kidding. But our perception is, in this case, we'll just call it the big A, which is abandonment. I remember when I uh, did my regression back to this place and coming out, and I went, well, there's, there's nothing here. Well, I'll have to create something. And so I did, I created a universe, we all do that, and then I could identify with it. I gave meaning to my universe. That's what we all do on a daily basis or when we left, quote, past tense, we did that in some way. Now, some of us have different responses in, in regression work, you know, we're angry or we're forlorn. One soul, one that I was working with the other day, uh, we had to do reconstruction. This was an amazing experience, but there was such a gap that took place in this one when it left, that parts of it were shattered out in its fear-based orientation, so it caused a huge energetic dispersion of soul parts. So we had to call those back. Uh, I use angels to do that. Angels of the white light, that's very specific, not just any angels. Somebody read my book, a friend of mine actually, it was very critical because, oh, you can't trust angels. They could be bad. Or um, you, they'll, your clients will become dependent on them. Anyhow, she had a different view of it than I did. So um, 
Others will have different experiences. Yours will be unique. You can do it by yourself. Just put yourself in the trance, self-hypnosis, and say to your teachers, your guides, take me back to the point of emergence, prior to emergence, and see what that feels like in you. And then, uh, let's see what comes next, you know. It, it, when you're doing regression work and what happens next, or I say when I count to three, you'll come to the next event. Count to three, see what happens. I think everybody in the room has the spiritual and emotional maturity and groundedness. They could do this on their own. If not, have someone take you there. So anyhow, so this is leaving presence and leaving the sense of connectedness with self, very important element. So then the sanskaras are this lifetime, that lifetime, this one, this one, this one, where negative, we'll just use this very weird looking symbol, negative fear-based orientations happen, and uh, Yogananda uses the metaphor of the uh, movie and you know that it's it's an imprint upon the film for the movie and the light in you is the projection light you're the projector and this is your movie um, I had uh, experience one time they always come in the shower for some reason and you too yeah well it's easier for guidance I think when we're in that water. So, uh, and they showed me how the whole universe, this is out as far as that um, telescope can figure out that the universe, what's it, Hubble, and beyond that, out to infinity, and that everything be between there, even George Bush, the war in Iraq, everything was right here. Not out there. But it was like they defined a perimeter around me, like that. And with the very comforting words, and it's very fitting, you know, which is not encouraging, but puts you in, in the driver's seat in terms of responsibility. Okay, so I'm digressing a little. All right, so now the, uh, the purpose of the sanskaras is self-evident like that part was that I just went through that description of using core transformation is to take us back to the self. Sounds weird but that there is that resource in there and as you know if you work with a client you're going to some theme that they're experiencing in themselves that eventually their working with you will lead them back into uh, some realization about how they really are, that they're safe, that they are well, that they are healed, that they are whole. That is the potential, the full potential of the work. So it is like clearing the sanskaras. So if you clear the impressions that are on the soul that create all these lifetimes, what are you left with? the self. Okay? Now, um, it used to be in Hinduism anyhow, right? 